Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good uh, Monday night. Almost, yeah, it's before midnight. <laughs> Shocker. But I wanted to come and do my vlog a little bit early uh, and report to y'all about my, my visit with Eva today. Uh, me and Johnny went out to um, where she lives, up there close to uh, Ruston. And... Um, <laughs> We drove up there and uh, took her, uh, well, you know, I de-stashed my yarn um, last week and put together some boxes for uh, Eva and her granddaughter that wants to learn how to crochet. And I took um, some hooks. I went through my hooks and took some hooks I knew I wouldn't use. And um, then I took um, my old looms. I had bought a new set of looms a year or so ago. And so I took the one, my original looms that I started with that weren't nothing wrong with them and, and a pick and, you know, well, some people that loom knit call it a, a hook. Some people, some of us call it a pick. I call it a pick. Um, anyway, uh, cause it's just a little straight. It's not even, it's just a bent over thing. It's not really a hook, but, um, so I took, you know, all that with me and, um, it was drive. <laughs> What makes the drive so long is not the amount of miles, it's the back roads. Um, because it's only about 40 something miles interstate and the rest of it's back roads. And the back roads, there's not a whole lot of landmarks that you can, you know, because there's just not a lot of landmarks and a lot of um, things that you can recognize on those back roads they all look the same after you know some of them are just tree lined and there's you know just they look a lot of the same and so it's very easy to get lost so i've been there what this marks three times and i use gps to get there and i use gps to come home because <laughs> this girl gets lost easy and uh yeah Especially on back road. Now, once I get to the interstate, I'm good. I don't need the GPS anymore. But, uh, yeah. But getting there, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, I managed to get off the back roads before the sun went down. Unfortunately, uh, on the way home, the sun decided to blind me. Get right in my, my left eye and just shine directly in my eye like all the way home so by the time I got home I had a headache which near about you know it was, it was but anyway uh but we went out there and um uh, and I forgot a tripod I was gonna record her opening her boxes which she just kept oohing and on and so because I included some stuff that was still in plastic because <laughs> stuff that I knew that she hadn't had a chance to try and I wanted her to have, have some stuff that she hadn't had a chance to try. So, um, that was fun. It was fun watching her open her boxes and seeing all the stuff. And, uh, but, uh, she had made uh, a delicious chili, um, with no beans. <laughs> Apparently beans upset her stomach, so she didn't include beans. I happen to like beans, but that's okay. It was still very delicious. And then there was cornbread and hot sauce and shredded cheese and, and then pie for dessert. And uh, so all the, the food was uh, amazing. And I was very happy. She had decorated. Uh, she put little streamers out by her mailbox, little turquoise streamers out by the mailbox. And then she had these little, these little, these little ball things hanging from the porch. <laughs> she had her husband, Johnny, hang them up there willy nilly. <laughs> And she insisted that I bring them home with me. So you see these these little paper paper balls. Yeah, she had them hanging from their porch, and then she had a little uh, some stream some turquoise streamers hanging from one of their lights, and uh, it just made me feel so special, so special. And uh, so you know, just uh, little touches like that that just really make you feel special, and uh, it definitely did. Um, and then she had me, uh, she had got me, uh, excuse me, a couple of bags. She's a couponer. Our, our, our Eva is a couponer. 
so she uh she has been doing um the american greeting card uh job where she goes around and refurbishes and uh, re refills uh, greeting cards and sets up new new greeting card uh displays and stuff like that and so she and, and of course she's a couponer and so she's in on discounts and stuff that you know most of us don't think to find but she came across these bags at uh i think the dollar general store and um and of course they're my colors and so she got me this bag it's like a little backpack and i you know i don't normally carry a purse but i really like this one and uh, i probably will start carrying something because i'm always ending up somewhere that i end up playing with my phone instead of i could be working on crochet right now yeah. and then she got me this one this is a big old canvas this could probably be a market bag you know instead of using plastic if you're going to a market you could use this this is like burlap or something it's really stiff and sturdy but this is a it says sunny vibes and she got me and her both one of these she got a, a one very similar to this but in different colors and uh, she tried to get matching ones but she couldn't find matching ones in this in this style here but we did get matching ones at this one so uh, this is, I, I would say this is a project slash beach bag because you could definitely, this one is, is very sturdy. You could beat up on it a little and it would, it would take it. So, um, and that's not all she gave me. <laughs> y'all, this, this is, this is how you know someone loves you. Okay. And y'all know my thing with strawberry water. Oh, this is still Diet Mountain Dew. I hadn't switched it out yet because Johnny and I need to go to the grocery store tomorrow because we're out of a lot of stuff. But this this is uh, something that she actually put in a gift bag with a little tissue paper, turquoise tissue paper. The lady is good on details, but um, strawberry water is kind of hard to find around here. And when Johnny and I went last week, all we could find it was in the cans. So that's what we got last, last time. But my girl, found the strawberry water <laughs> so i will be drinking this in my cup after the video because i'm out here at the house <laughs> yes so because i've had help drinking them this past week my oldest son likes it too so i've had help drinking my strawberry water but my bestie to the rescue my one of my birthday presents <laughs> <laughs> so we had a great time we um uh, we ate our dinner and then we said um i got to love on all our fur babies i love her fur baby she's got cute little small dogs and uh and that little little grand poodle um groot was out out in full force he was just lovey dovey lovey dovey and so i enjoyed playing with the dogs and then we sat on the porch and just enjoyed the outdoors a little bit because it was nice outside and um her her quails she has some some she has chickens but she also has quails and uh i had never heard a quail screech you know they they don't they don't like choop, 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 like chickens they screech and uh <laughs> and i told johnny i said that thing sounds like someone scratching a record <laughs> And that's what it sounds like. It sounds like someone's got a, a vinyl record and scratching it. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. I kid you not. It sounds like someone's scratching a record. I hadn't, I, I had never heard it before. So, you know, I was like, what? And then she's got some baby, baby quail that just uh, hatched not too long ago. And she let me hold one of them. And it was tiny. It was a little big, tiny thing. And I had to hold it real I had never held a, a baby bird before. So it was pretty neat. And so uh, I held a baby bird, a uh, baby quail. And I'd not, just for a hot minute, and then I give it back to her. But uh, I like I liked loving on, on her. She got three, they have three of their own dogs. And then they're currently dog sitting Groot, which is a little poodle. And he is full of himself, let me tell you. He is quite the character. And he was just smiling, he pet, loving on him. And then he'd get this little smile on his face. And if you don't think dogs smile, then there's something wrong with you. <laughs> dogs do smile. And this little guy was smiling left and right. 
he, he's very mischievous and fun and fun and uh then there's mamu is one of the dogs and then doc and then pup 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 pup's about this big <laughs> little tiny chihuahua she's mixed with something else i forget what but she's she's just the tiniest little face and she's just so sweet and she's vision impaired so she she you know they had to pick her up and move her from place to place as far as stairs and you know things like that to keep her from her you know tripping and, and hurting herself but uh it's it's a good time it's a good time anytime i go out there it really is and uh i just love being with eva and, and her husband and you know he 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 made a good point i was talking about my dizzy spells because i keep i have the dizzy spells haven't gone away they they um i thought they had but i keep getting them when i go to get up too quick and it's really it it, it it's really kind of came on kind of sudden and um and it, it is it's only happening when i get up now it's only happening when i get out of bed too quick or when i stand up too quick or something like that you know move too quick and her husband johnny uh had a really good idea it could be my blood pressure's too low and i hadn't really thought about that uh because i eat kind of a low salt diet i don't salt my food um we don't reuse low sodium stuff around here and i'm real careful about my salt intake and so you know and then i take i take well one of my mental health medications doubles as a blood pressure medicine and so uh but it but i take a i take two uh milligrams which they come in one milligram uh capsules so what i'm gonna do because i can control i can control my dosage myself um i'm gonna back off of one 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 milligram because i have lost like probably about 50 or 60 pounds since they give me that dosage and so i'm gonna back off of one and just take one the next few days just one instead of two and see if that has any effect on the dizzy spells just in case i am indeed um having low blood pressure and if it's lowering my blood pressure too much so uh the medicine is is called prezosin and it's to control my ptsd um and i have ptsd because i was sexually abused as a child and um a, a few other things anyway but um a few other traumatic events that happened to me in my young adulthood um, that, you know, caused me PTSD. So uh, I had nightmares. If I don't, you know, take that medicine, I have nightmares and I don't wanna have nightmares. So, um, but I think I'll back off a do one, one pill, back, you know, back down the dosage just to one pill for a few days. And uh, that should be enough of a test, about three nights worth should be enough of a test to let me know if that's gonna work or not. Um, or maybe just the rest of the week and just see see if it, it's enough of a test to see if it works. Um, so uh, I hope so because, you know, I, otherwise I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do a walk-in at my doctor's office um, and, and have him, you know, check me over and, and check my blood pressure and all that stuff. I've been checking my sugar because, you know, I, I'm borderline diabetic. So I've been checking my sugar. My sugar has been in the low hundreds. So it's not my sugar. So, but I have no way of checking my blood pressure. So I don't know if it's my blood pressure. I don't know, you know, I have a blood pressure cup, but I don't know how to use it. So, you know, it needs two people and someone to put it on me and someone know, knows how to use it. So, you know, I'm kind of at a loss there. But, um, anyway, that's my, my trip out to Eva's and I did finish my cardigan. Uh, those of you that had maybe not uh, seen, um, if you're not on the Facebook page, you might not have seen the pictures, but I'm going to pause here and I'm going to insert a clip that I took, uh, of me wearing, uh, my cardigan and then I'll be right back. Hey y'all. Uh, I just wanted to show y'all. A little video clip of how this uh how that fits me my little uh, cardigan here since pictures are kind of hard to insert but videos are a little easier so this is um what it looks like in the back and 
and this is how it turned out anyway on me because uh, it's a little hard to show when I'm doing a regular video but I figured I'd do this little clip and insert this in tonight's vlog so because I came home from Ava's and uh, finished this up all I had to do, finish was this uh, ribbing on the bottom here so um, but as you can see I just uh, did a couple of rows a half double here to finish that up but it worked out fairly well I'm very happy with it I think it'll be a nice addition to my concert outfit I think I'm gonna leave the uh, sparkle the, the silver thread off of it uh, I think this little flippy flop thing that this is doing will even out once I wash it with a fabric softener I think it'll relax and and drape a little bit better but I'm very happy with it I think it's pretty neat looking I'll see y'all on the rest of the video there you go that was only a second for me but it was just a couple I made a minute or so for you <laughs> but I figured that was easier then uh and try to insert pictures so now y'all can uh, get an idea of what it looks like on and then i'll go over go over with you my process here and i, I showed y'all where i put the squares in the back this is along the back seam here i put my this is eight squares here eight two round squares and then i went along the this the back part this back this 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 part here with two two rows of half double crochet i went along both sides of the lapel with two well, uh, one row of uh double crochet and then two rows of front post back post i did that on both sides of the lapels and then i did it along the bottom so it has a little you know ribbed bottom as well so uh i had i had when I, I took this with me to Eva's, oops, and I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to snip that off, but that, it's no big deal. I'll take it back in the living room, take care of that, but um, I'm going to wash it anyway. I think it'll, I think all the stitches will look better once they relaxed from fabric softener, but um, I did take it to Eva's with me, and I hadn't done the bottom part when I took it with me because I really wanted to, um, you know, get her opinion. And then I wanted to try this on her because I, I, I was thinking of making her one in purple. And um, I wanted to see where this fit her and, you know, what all, how I needed, you know, to size one for her because she's quite a bit smaller than me. She's only four foot 11. And so the, the length of this is actually perfect for her. Uh, the sleeves are a little long. Um, I, I used a, a 6.5 millimeter to do the actual, uh, both hexagon sides. So with hers, I would go back down to a six millimeter. And uh, on the back of mine, I put uh, four rows each on uh, to extend the back. On the back on the back part, I added four rows on each side. Here, I'm not going to do do that with hers. I won't need to do that with hers because she's you know not not as wide as me, of course. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get a feel for how one of these would fit her and where what all adjustments I would need to make on it to to fit her so um, yeah so this might be something she gets for Christmas um, I just yeah I had already planned to make her either the granny pullover or a cardigan so I'm still kind of on the fence on which one she'll get but uh, I did want to you know get a more sense of her her size and by having her try this one on, that gave me a more visual of her size as far as m my size versus her size. So, um, I need visuals. <laughs> you can tell me all day long, but I need to see it in person to know. But uh, this will be definitely, uh, when I wash this, it'll get actually, uh, this particular yarn, when you wash it and dry it, it does make it a little more fuzzy. And I want that because I think... Because my uh, top that I'm wearing to the concert has fr the front of it is sequent, and so I think this this the the fuzziness of this will just kind of mesh well with the with the, the with the shiny, and and so I want it to be a little more fuzzy, 
and so when I wash it and then I put it in the dryer it'll it'll make that fuzz you know a little more and so it'll make it pop better and uh, I'm looking forward to that but I'm so excited that uh, this came out and it came out it's not perfect don't get me wrong it's not perfect like this back part where where I put these squares in this is not perfect not in the least this is definitely uh, where I had to do some serious fudging right here so this has got this little <laughs> raised part right here so yeah that's that's not perfect <laughs> but it's for me it's not like I'm selling it so um, you know but I had to try, I had to try this, you know, this design for myself. I really wanted to, um, oh, there's a knot right there. Oh, well, and it's on the outside too, <laughs> but it's at the back. It's not going to hurt anything, but I just had to try this because I had this idea in my head and I just really, really wanted to try it. And so, um, I just uh, wanted to do, and I figured that I was already going to be making myself a cardigan for my con my concert outfit and beyond, of course. And of course, as I lose weight, this will fit me a little bit better. As far as, I didn't really need one to come all the way around me and meet, you know, in the front. I just mainly wanted a, you know, to, I wanted it to kind of fall right, right there where it falls. Now, when I lose more of my belly, it will, you know, start to come in. So that's why I wasn't, you know, that's why I didn't worry about, and that's why I didn't worry about the length of it you know and that kind of thing because i will be you know as i have my surgery on the first of november and then i lose weight this will fit me better it will get big you know it will fit me better so uh it fits me fine now it fits me like i wanted it to fit me for the concert so i'm good with that but when i lose more weight it will you know of course be more you know uh, of a nice you know nicer fit for everyday wear but um, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm very happy with it. it. I said this. This is this is what I wanted it to look like, and I'm just really tickled that I, you know, accomplished what I set out to do. And uh, that doesn't happen very often for me. <laughs> so um, I'm really tickled about it. And uh, so I get to start a new project. <laughs> what that is, I don't know yet. I will, I got a Johnny's Corner to Corner Blanket that I'm going to go uh, tackle tonight and um, probably don't hold me to that because I got other things brewing in my brain, but uh, definitely soon, uh, if, if not tonight, soon. And um, so I just uh, got all kinds of things floating around in my brain. When you have this much, this much yarn and this surrounded by all this beauty, you can't help but think things things are floating around in your brain. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, needless to say, lots of ideas, lots of ideas floating and, and, and congealing and, and, you know, brewing. So, um, I don't know what I'll make next. You never know, but it should be fun. Very fun. Um, I know that more cardigans are in my future. Definitely. Cause I do, I love making the cardigans. I really do. And this was fun. This was fun. And I got all that brand new yarn that I really want to mess with. <laughs> and I got those boys that I want to make. Um, I want to make the oldest one, uh, a Taylor. I want to make Taylor a red granny square blanket because he likes red and he really was fascinated with granny squares. And I think he really wanted a granny square keychain. So I'm going to try to get some red yarn and uh, a, a small hook and see if I can't make the smallest of small granny squares. And then f I, I know I found a keychain ring somewhere. I think it's in my hook box, but I found a keychain ring. And um, so I just need to make the smallest of smallest granny square and um, make sure that it won't untangle or anything. You know, I'm, I got some fabric glue in there. And so I'll glue the fool out of it, make sure it stays in place. And then I'll put that keychain ring around in, in it. And voila, keychain. <laughs> and so he'll have a granny square keychain that he asked for. And, um, but I really want to, you know, make him a, a, a big granny square blanket for his bed in red. 
that's his color, his, re his red. His color and the uh, one of the twins, Kason, uh, his, his, his color is red. Um, so, no, not not Kason, Mason, sorry. They sound so much alike, but Mason, Mason. Yeah, Mason's color is, is also red. So, no, I'm right, it was Kason. Lord, you can tell I'm tired. So, Taylor is red, and then Kason likes red. But Mason likes blue because he's still wearing the loom knit hat, the blue loom hit loom hit hat. <laughs> I don't edit, so you're just gonna get what you get, okay? <laughs> the blue loom hit loom knit hat I made him a couple of years ago for Christmas. Yeah, a couple of years ago for Christmas, I made because they're friends of my oldest son's my oldest son's best friend's kids. So, <laughs> I made them hats and scarves for Christmas a couple of years ago. And, uh, yeah. And the, one of the twins still wears his loom, loom knit hat, his blue loom knit hat, to bed every night. So, he's six. They're, the twins are six. The oldest one is 11. So, um, <laughs> and I'm so excited. They've already asked their mom when I'm coming back. How cool is that? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm free Saturday. <laughs> I'm free for stuffed animal fights Saturday. <laughs> ah, should be fun. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. It's lots of fun. So, uh, I look forward to going back. I do. Um, it reminded me of when my, my boys were little and we had lots of fun like that. So, um, should be fun to go back and visit with them again. And we'll figure out something else to occupy our time and, and you know, have fun again. Um, but uh, those kids are a riot. And it, it just, uh, you know, it made life is without grandchildren bearable, you know, because there for a little while, I felt like a little, I felt a little bit like a grandmother there for a little while. And um, that was wonderful. So anyway, uh, that's about all I got for y'all tonight. Um, I hope y'all have a wonderful, night, wonderful day tomorrow. And um, please remember that uh, to know that I love you. And so does Jesus. And please uh, adopt, don't shop. Your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. And I just remembered. <laughs> She's going to kill me. <laughs> okay. I was meant to... Rem to uh, this is a ca caveat. I, I just closed the video and now I remembered. Okay, Eva and I are going to be collecting... Um, items to take to a wo woman's shelter in Derrida, Louisiana. Uh, it's a women's shelter for uh, domestic violence victims. And um, she she um, spoke to someone there and they would like uh, women's hats, baby hats, and baby blankets. Oh, and baby booties, baby socks. So, um, what we decided to do, and, um, since I have this, since I have this channel, she doesn't have a channel. She did post something on the Facebook group, um, you know, at, at asking anybody that wanted to, um, donate things, you know, that they could donate things. I don't, I think she might've put her address. I don't know, but my address is always in the uh, description box. So if y'all would feel more comfortable sending these things to me, we are going to, collaborate uh Eva and I are uh, and get a box together get a you know some stuff together I already have some loom knitted hats put put up that I'm gonna go through and wash and put together plus I'll make so I don't have any baby hats but I have looms and I have yarn that's suitable for babies so I'll be uh, making some baby hats I don't have any booty looms and I can't make baby booties but I might I might buy some baby socks because uh, that's easier for me but uh, baby blankets I did buy some some yarn and baby colors so I might make a baby blanket um, 
so um but if you are uh, we're going to be going um i think she said the beginning of december so you have the rest of this month and all of next month um to crochet knit loom knit whatever you want to do if you already have these items on hand that you're just that are just collecting dust and you don't need them but you did it because it's your hobby whatever the case may be baby hats ladies hats baby blankets baby socks that's what we're looking for so uh if you want to donate these items my uh, happy mail or regular address is in the description box of my videos um you can send them here and she and i will go we're going to go do that together and uh so we'll be collecting all these things together so um we appreciate anybody that's willing to donate if you have the funds if you have the means to do so please don't sacrifice any of your own um projects or christmas presents in order to do donations please don't do that if you have a local shelter that has a need we'd rather you do that at your local shelter um this is only you know if you have an ink you know if you are able to but we don't want to put anyone out so don't you know put yourself in a bind by sending use, using your money for postage or anything like that this is just if you're financially able to you know but don't like i said don't you know do anything that's going to put you in a financial bind just because you want to do something you know to help somebody we'd much re we don't want anyone to endanger their finances or anything like that please okay uh we love y'all too much for that we appreciate help yes of course but we don't want anyone you know making themselves broke for nothing okay so um if you have the, these items and you want to donate them wonderful you could send them but don't break yourself doing it okay that's the point i'm trying to make anyway but uh once again i love y'all so does jesus and adopt don't shop talk to you soon bye